Welcome to Thermal Integration Made Easy, a series that covers everything you need to know about integrating Teledyne FLIR thermal camera modules. Today, we're going to compare thermal power arrays and the Lepton micro thermal camera module. There are many resources available to support integration at flir.com lepton. Another great resource is our FAQ knowledge base and support center found at flir.com slash custhelp. Let's get started. A thermal pile is a device that generates an electrical voltage when exposed to a temperature gradient or heat flux. A thermal pile array is a collection of thermal piles arranged in a grid or array format. Thermal pile arrays are typically utilized in various basic thermal imaging applications such as hotspot detection, person detection, precise non-contact temperature sensing, and basic gas detection. Thermal piles are low power, low cost, and lower in resolution than bolometers. Most thermal pile array resolutions range from 4x4 to 32x32 and offer a field of view from narrow to greater than 100 degrees. The Teledyne FLIR lepton is microbolometer based and uses changes in pixel resistance to measure infrared radiation in the scene. These sensors are size, weight, and power optimized low cost and offer higher pixel resolutions from 80 by 60 to 160 by 120. With more resolution, the lepton microbolometer can be utilized in sophisticated applications including smart home automation, occupancy detection, smartphones, drones, early fire detection, and condition monitoring. Before we get into the pros and cons of each type of technology, is important to understand application use case differences. Typically, thermal piles and thermal pile arrays are found in applications where detection and or limited information is the primary need. Simplistic short range occupancy counting, light triggering or simplistic spot temperature measurement of a close object are typical use cases. Imaging sensors such as microbolometers, are typically used when more information, visual representation of multiple objects, and longer distances of objects and temperature measurement are needed. Thermography of electrical switch gear, security, maritime, and automotive, and even the traditional and new uses for imaging sensors like lepton. Historically, applications have used lower cost sensors like thermal pile arrays to accomplish the end goal. These sensors were used primarily due to the higher cost of microbolometers, lack of mechanical shutters, higher field of view options, and lower power. However, advancement of microbolometer technology, exponential production volume increases through yield improvements and new markets have resulted in microbolometer costs to significantly decrease. The cost between higher resolution thermal pile arrays and low resolution microbolometers has significantly narrowed. Today, current use case trends are focusing on the reduction of false alarms, integration of AI, and overall smarter systems, more information or more pixels, better fidelity of objects, smaller pixels, and ability to measure absolute temperature of multiple objects in the same scene is resulting in the blurring definition of what is a sensor and an imager. Infrared camera modules offer higher spatial resolution which enables them to capture more detailed thermal images with finer spatial features to easily distinguish different objects. While both sensors can sense a broad temperature range, Thermal piles are not as sensitive to low intensity infrared compared to infrared camera modules. In summary, thermal pile arrays are suitable for applications where moderate spatial resolution and cost effectiveness are important, while infrared camera modules are preferred for higher resolution thermal imaging tasks where greater sensitivity and precision is a must. This wraps up our episode on thermal piles and microbolometers. If you want to see more content like this, Hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. For additional support, find more information by visiting fleer.com slash time or fleer.com slash custhelp for technical support. Thank you for watching.